Welcome back everyone to the Complete Pine Leaf and today we are performing a patrol for the Rohirrim here in the Brownlands and among other things we are also dealing with some of the local ruffians some of these of course are just brigands and others of these are Kundalar including this member of the Brotherhood of the Mind here Or I need to collect a few medallions from them or something like that. There you go. And it also deals with a few Kundalar here and there. Who can argue with that? If I read my map properly, we're getting near the first of the patrol points. Somewhere up around here. Maybe this is it. I found it, but there's nothing here. Well, I do see a battle cat there. And I also see a sorcerer here. Alright, nothing unusual other than the usual Dunlading patrols that I've happened to deal with all the way through here. But we'll take care of this blue cast sorcerer. Who apparently is not one. I guess that's the one of the first group. The oh, right, that's right. That was the first battle cat there. So I think I'm taking care of Kundalar. So this will be the last Kundalar I need. Though of course I do need all those sorcerers in order to collect their medallions. So I still have a few of those to go. Whee! One quest down, many more to go. Now, oh. Second patrol point's that way. When you choose which way to go on a fork in a road, make sure you choose the right way. And what's in here? I found this collar upon one of the wild cats that roamed the brown lands. Its intricate design is unlike any I've seen before. Regardless, it's a sign that the cats are <clears throat> not native to this region. It also means that they're not completely wild, I would think. Well, not native to the region and not completely wild. Ooh, I wonder if they're working with the Kundalar. The Kundalar here, the, the cats are here. And I'm sh getting the impression that the Kundalar just love to have intricate artwork. And I also see another cat up there. As well as more of these. But that's a blue key. Oh, he did have a dark blue one. Alright, fine. In the distance you see a large easterling encampment. Okay, well that's the second patrol. I walked right on top of the second patrol point while going towards the cat. Alright. Well, this is the first time that I've done this that I really noticed that at least the first two patrol points are right on the road. <laughs> Makes it a whole lot easier to actually find the patrol points if you know that little detail. There you go. Oh well. <clears throat> now... Looks like the third one. Is that down the road I tried to take the first time? I'm sure one of the corollaries of Murphy's Law is that if you say the patrol points are on the road, the next patrol point will most definitely not be on the road. Oh, well, yeah, the next one looks like it is actually nowhere near a road. I'll just follow the path down and... Eventually, I'll reach the position, right? Hmm. There's something strange over there. Is that a statue of some sort? Hmm. I'll have to go and check that out. Maybe it's related to the trolls or something. Could someone have mistaken a statue for a troll? Oh, I suppose that's a possibility. 
For now, though, let's forge ahead, because I think the patrol point is somewhere near here, and... In the distance, you see a lone tree standing. Or, is it a tree? Ooh. Well, that's the question. It looks like an ant. Hmm, an ant. Uh, hello there? Gnarl Stump. Hello there, little one. My old eyes are not what they once were. <laughs> but in these barren places, even I can see that you are not a creature to be feared. Uh, well, good thing you're not an orc, because believe me, if you were an orc, you'll be someone to fear. <laughs> I mean, I... never mind. <laughs> you may call me... Norndos, or perhaps Gnarl Stump, if it is easier for you. Tarum! I will not tell you my right name, and I do not expect yours. Well, that sounds like an ant. Besides, it, his fright name will probably take too long to say. I have come to this place because there were once the gardens of the Entwise. The land was ruined long ago, home, and the gardens were lost. The Entwise went forth from this place, home, home, never to be seen again. I desire to find the Entwise, if any still remain, and I hope to find some sign of their passing. Would you aid me? Take this ant draft and pour it upon the desolation of the gardens. If anything grows there, tarum, it may help to identify who the gardens belong to. Uh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, I suppose I could do so. Now, let's see what's in here. Oh, these gardens are certainly in poor shape. Uh, well, I think I can confirm that there are trolls here. You have discovered the desolation of the gardens. Yes, apparently so. I've also discovered some trolls. Hello. Oh, right. We well, at least Was he using a Roheric shield as a cod piece? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I suppose so. Oh, hello. Oh, maybe it's a belt buckle. Yeah, yeah, that looks more like a belt buckle. All right, well. All right, he's using it as a belt buckle. I suppose to a troll, a Roheric shield could be a belt buckle. <laughs> oh, well. Now, see if I could find the... Oh! Hello! There are trolls all over the place and... Ouch! There are trolls all over the place in here. <sighs> well, I'll have to deal with that. You have found a troll which has been turned to stone. Well, yeah. I've also found several that hadn't been turned to stone. <laughs> you're, you're leaving out that little detail, right? This would be a good place to pour the draft. All right, fine. Pour, 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 pour. 
Nothing happens when you pour the interrupt. All right, fine. I guess we try another place. Hey, no fair cheating! Fine. You want to play that game? I'll play that game. I have sticks I can throw. Yeah, you have boulders you can throw. All right, we'll, we'll see. We'll see who sticks and who stones breaks the other's bones. Well, okay. I guess the stones will break my bones while the my sticks will make you bleed. Ah, here's another promising location. Let's see if any pouring here does anything. Nothing? I suppose that means we need to head up the stairs. Oh, now here, here's another good place. Well, or maybe not. Now, let's see what happens up here. Oh, there's a flower there. Hmm. Nothing happens when you pour the end draft, but you see a large white flower growing in the garden. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, here's a good place. Maybe away from that troll? Well, so much for that. I guess it's time to report that I at least found a flower. That's not a particularly fun place to go. Alas, nothing happened when you poured the draft upon the gardens? Hmm, <clears throat> that is disappointing. It means the gardens are truly lost. But wait! You say you saw a flower among the desolation? That is something? All right. He's interested. And he has more quests for me, apparently. <laughs> hmm, little hobbit. I could tell. I could use your help one more time. I would, <clears throat> yes, build in this place a, how would you say it, a memorial in honor of the Entwives. Yes, that is the word for it, memorial. I would not touch the stones of the Entwives' garden, but there is other stone to be had in this land. Harum, trolls, foul beasts, made by Morgoth in mockery of Ents, dwell in this land. Yes, I killed some on the way up through the gardens. Occasionally, they become trapped in the sunlight and turn to stone. Koo gather the troll stones and bring them to me. It is fitting, I think, for the foul mockeries to become a memorial. All right, collect the stones of the trolls. All right. And. Tarum, tarum, little hobbit. If we cannot con move the trolls out by force, perhaps they will depart if their chieftain is slain. There have been whispers on the winds of a great wild troll named Gozug, who dwells in the stone hole. Would you enter that foul cave and defeat him? Perhaps then the trolls shall depart in this place. All right, fine. Kill chieftain. Yes. And finally, what else? Whom? Whom? This is an outrage, little hobbit. Trolls are in there. Yes, yes, yes. I've been killing them left and right. Yes, they go forth and defeat a few more of these things. They should know at least that the Ents have not forgotten this land. Right. Yes. Of course. Ah. Ents aren't exactly quick on the uptake, I take it. Well, they're definitely not hasty creatures. I do have to remember that. Not hasty at all. Want to deliberate on everything. Don't want to come to a premature decision. 
just because I killed a few trolls in here. Just not necessarily mean. That he'll know immediately what to do about them. But of course, eventually he says, Oh, perhaps the best thing to do is to get them out of the future site of this memorial. Yes, that's what you do. You send the hobbit that went in there and killed several of them before to kill a few more. That makes perfectly good sense. All right, there's the first one. I had to come here in order to get a few stones anyway. And after I gather stones and kill a few in here, I can head out to that cave and find that chieftain, who I am sure is going to be a little bit on the tough side, right? Right. And perhaps I should remember to check out the flower more carefully. Hmm. This large white flower is beautiful to behold, but most wonders of all is that it is growing in the barren, corrupt earth of the Brownlands. Alright, fine. I, I forgot to describe it to him earlier. Oh, I just told him that there was a flower there. I didn't actually describe it to him. Hmm. Now let's see how deep in this hole this chief lives. Of course, he's got several other trolls protecting him along the way, so it means this is going to be a long fight to find the chief, I'm sure. If it's, especially if it's anything like all those troll caves we found in Rivendell. See, well, that's the best way to go here, other well, than having to deal with a few of these before I go in deeper. Ouch! Right or left? Not too sure which is going to be better. I guess uh, since I'm facing right, I'll go this way. And if I'm lucky, I'll find the chief eventually. Here's a pretty high ramp. Maybe this is the... No, this is not the chief, but it looks like the way to the chief's area. Yeah. The long way. Back down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to lead to our... I'm not going to say friends, because this chief is certainly not by any definition that I can think of a friend. More trolls. After killing many trolls, I have finally found Gozug. Let's deal with him quickly. Hmm, seems to have some sort of defense here. Ara, mobile fortress. Nearby orcs are better shielded against melee and ranged attacks. Well then, good thing that there aren't any orcs in the area. There you go. Aha! Or are you planning on calling some orcs? Well, if you were, it, it's a bit late now. Ha! Good. That was quite an ordeal. I managed to get these stones for you. Ah, yes. Hmm. This shall do nicely, Tarum. You have been most helpful, little hobbit. You're welcome. And also, I managed to find this flower when I was back in the gardens. What is this that you have found? Hmm, this flower is a breed grown by Fimbrithil, mate of the eldest of my kind. While it does not speak of the passage of the Entwives, Fangord will be pleased to know such flowers still live in this world. Okay. And also, I've managed to take care of the boss. Ah, this is a good deed, little hobbit. Trolls are a bad lot to be certain. Tarum! Yeah, I 
wonder. All right, now that we're at cap stuff, maybe the armor can actually be an upgrade for a change. Look at this. Uh, oh, that's that's Bjorning stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Agility, yes. Vitality. Well, still not an obvious upgrade. And finally, now that is a fine tale that you tell. I would be pleased if all the stone mockeries were felled, but I do not see that happening any time soon. Tarum. Well, uh, that is it for Gnarl Stump. Whee! Imagine that, being slowed down by an it. At least we got something accomplished by taking out several of the trolls in the area, and trolls were one of the things we were supposed to be looking out for. But we do have a patrol to continue, which we'll do in the next episode of The Complete Pine Leaf.